what's good you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new hey what's up love i'm Kay. and if you've been here before thank you so much for stopping back by all right so today i have got a full get ready with me and i'm going to be showing you guys how i got this bold but cute but still super feminine uh date night look i'm not actually going on date nights i mean if you guys know what's going on i mean the restaurants are open but like you can't actually drink do you know what I'm saying? So it's like date night with no red wine, date night with, like, what's that? Yeah, I'm basically just summoning the country opening up with this uh, date night look. I'm just, I'm, I'm manifesting it. I'm manifesting it and I'm trying to just let the universe and Cyril know that we're ready. We might not actually be ready, but emotionally emotionally a lot of us are ready to get out of the house that's basically what i'm going to be doing and i do want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor i want to give a huge shout out to nadula hair shout out to them for sponsoring today's video and providing today's hair slay i'm going to be styling my hair in the super feminine side part with like nice curls and yeah i'm going to also be doing this look this beautiful blue look and i'm gonna show you my full outfit as well so yeah you know i literally did this as a pick me up i've been in a weird space for the past week so i just did this just to try and make myself feel better and i do i do feel better so yeah without any further ado let's hop straight into this video if you do want to shop my hair then don't hesitate to go into my description box i've got all the details you might need to shop this hair i've got a direct link and i've also got a store link and every other detail that you need about this hair so yeah without any further ado guys let's get into this because shame i won't lie this did make me feel better it did it really did so yeah let's get into it <laughs> Okay guys, let's get started. So, I do get a lot of questions about where I got this bonnet. I'm sure Clix has, yeah, I'm sure, Clicks, I'm very, very sure Clix has. But yeah, I got mine from Discam. Um, I customized this hair yesterday. I literally took my whole entire, like, day and just, like, dedicated it to getting this wig right. So, I am going to be doing the Elastic Band Method yet again yet again so yeah my hair is loving me right now i have a hair appointment um with like a natural hair salon i do remember i asked you guys on instagram like um do you guys know any hair salons and i found one in pretoria it's kind of far but i'm going to be taking you guys with me literally it's going to be a vlog don't worry girl don't worry anyway y'all so this is the hair it is long oh it is so long you guys it is i have all the details on the screen or in the description box i think the description box is the best place um yeah and then i just made it a um side part it's from nadula hair guys i love it this is how it looks inside so all i did was put the foundation like i normally do it's a frontal but i will say that the very like the edge like right here because i didn't want to do a side part but then i kept running into tracks that's because the lace is kind of shallow here but otherwise it is very very nice um my side part came out really really good and yeah i put the elastic band right over here it's got very nice lace and it's got it's very very well made and it's got the little clamps at the bottom that i just made tighter to fit my head so yeah so as you can see like the hair is super super flat well, I'm talking about the lace now. I'm not talking about the actual hair. We're going to style that later on. But as you can see, the lace is super flat. I just have the ear tabs up. So I'm going to do what I always do. Take a little bit of glue and stick that down. Okay, so I'm going to take... Please ignore the top of my head. I will hot comb it down. Um, but I'm going to take some got to be. I'm going to take a pea-sized amount on my finger. Lift that lace. Okay guys, so I'm basically done putting this wig on my head. Basically all I'm going to do is take it and put it behind my... I'm just going to like put a... What's this thing called? A hair tie 
in it and we will curl the hair and do what we need to do to it when we are done with our face i just find that so much easier just put the hair on do your face then curl the hair um especially because i'm going to be curling it i do want when i take pictures and i basically show you the full look i want the curls to still be fresh i don't want them to have fallen already you know what i'm saying so we're going to get started with my face i do have a full foundation routine on my channel if you have not watched it then i really do recommend it because it is very very in depth it's basically going to show you in depth what i'm doing right now right now i'm going to glide right on over it i might even change a few steps but for like what i do all the time watch the foundation routine i'm going to moisturize my face with the neutrogena so i'm going to take a little bit of that and i'm going to moisturize and then I'm going to prime. One thing I didn't do in my foundation routine was prime. I actually did prime. I just don't know where that footage went. But the combo that I use to prime on an everyday basis is this one. I basically just take glycerin and I take the Rose Glow by Revlon. And I put these together. I am doing like a glowy look. But I'm not going to be highlighting nearly as much. Swirl that around. And prime. Okay, so I decided to bring you guys in a little bit just so that you could actually see what I'm doing. But I'm going to take some foundation and I really think that like for date nights, like guys, sabawele, honestly, but like I really do think and what I like for date nights is just like to accentuate your features but like, you know, show off a little bit. I don't think that date night is necessarily the day that you're super natural, but I also don't think it's the, the day where you're super full coverage. So I'm going to take a little bit of that Rimmel. So I'm using the Rimmel London Lasting Finish 25 Hour in Warm Caramel. And then I'm also going to take the Revlon Color Stay in Caramel as well. And I'm going to take that, swirl it together. And I'm not going to use nearly as much as I normally do, but you know, I'm not also going to color correct. I don't think that it's a full coverage day. Like I don't think that when you're on, I know it's like glam and like whatever, but I don't think that that's the day where you've got like, photography ready type of makeup you know i think it's just like a chill day you kind of still want them to see you know your real features and whatever but you also want to like catfish <laughs> a little bit and the type of makeup i like i think is really really good for like date night it's like super feminine guys like very light but not too light you know like just nice nice makeup basically Alrighty guys, so I did my brows and one eye off camera. I basically did it for Instagram. I'm going to be using two palettes. I'm going to be using the Unicorn Source palette by Switch Beauty. They don't sell this anymore, to my knowledge. It's really, really good. I love it. It is like a 35 shade multicolored palette. Yeah, so I really, I really, really like this. I don't gravitate towards this palette a lot because I do like neutral makeup looks, but this is very, very nice. And then I'm also going to be using the White Lily palette by Hermoso Flor. I don't know how to pronounce the brand name, but I love this palette. I reviewed it on my Instagram and I told you guys that I think this is a go-to. If it is still on the site, I will link it below and I do recommend for you guys to pick this up. Especially if you're not into the colorful looks and you just like a nice, natural, neutral look. And that's normally what you do every day. It's got a mirror in it. It's just perfect as a go-to palette. I love it. The concealer that I used to set my eye was the Nutmeg. I actually think I'm going to go one more time. It's the Nutmeg, it's the shade Nutmeg from the Revlon Colorstay. I absolutely love this concealer. Like, it is my favorite concealer, Eli Fini. Like, it's so good. And I'm going to dip into the shade Milk from this palette. So, Milk is basically this shade right over here. I'm placing Milk here just so that I can easily blend anything that I put on top. Then I'm going to take a very small detailed brush, but it is going to be a blending brush. I'm going to start off by packing the brown on there and then i will blow it out later so i'm going to take the shades friendship and chastity the two brown shades here so this is friendship and this is chastity i'm going to take a lot more of friendship than chastity and so i'm going to take this color and pack it in my crease i basically just want to keep it in my crease and then to blend that color out i'm going to take a very very fluffy brush and i'm going to dip it into the color beauty it's just a very light brown over here 
and I'm gonna blend that crease color all the way out okay and then I'm going to take I'm gonna hop back into that color stay and I'm going to cut my crease I'm going to take a very small flat brush like that dip it into the concealer I'm gonna take a little bit of that concealer and just cut my crease yeah okay so I'm not gonna really set that instead I'm going to go in with a flat brush and I'm going to hop straight into a shimmery blue in this palette I'm gonna hop into that blue right here um, so I'm gonna just pack that onto my eye I'm not gonna set this lid because I do want it to pop like I want it to be very very nice so I feel like this blue is a little too bright so to kind of like dim it down I'm going to take a navy blue that's like a matte so it doesn't have any shimmer in it and this is beautiful a navy blue right over here I love this color so I'm basically going to take that and like put it on top of this blue it actually doesn't do too too much but it does enough for me to get my desired look so i'm taking that on that same big placing brush i'm just gonna pat that on and kind of calm down that bright aqua blue and then i'm gonna hop back into the white lily palette and i'm going to hop into friendship and a bit more of chastity than i did before take that and basically place that on my outer corner just to deepen up that eye and then take the brush that I used with Beauty and just blow everything out and blend it nicely. Oh, okay. So I feel like I've been talking about I feel like I've been talking about this concealer a lot, but I'm gonna hop back into the Revlon. <laughs> I'm gonna hop back into the Revlon and now I'm going to do highlighting and contouring and stuff like that. I'm just gonna put some concealer down the sides of my nose and underneath my eye. And I love doing like the highlighting of my face after doing eyeshadow, especially if it's like a look look, because I can use the concealer to kind of cut the side of the eyeshadow and like neaten it up. And yeah, I love that because at least I don't have to use the tape. You remember like how everybody used to use the tape to get that straight edge on their eyeshadow? But if you just do the your highlighting and contouring after your eyeshadow, you can just do it with your sponge. And just cut your, your eyeshadow and it's super super simple and like clean. I'm going to use the Black Essence Long Lasting Waterproof Eyeliner. Um, I use the brown one for my eyebrows but the black one I really really like for the waterline. So I'm just going to take my mirror actually. And I'm going to look up and start to draw a line right here. And I actually don't even need to be tidy with this liner because i'm going to be smoking it out take my mirror again and run it and then i'm going to take the lash that i'm going to be using today which is dream by tandy gamma oh my gosh this is dry now i'm going to take a little bit of lash glue the lash glue that i use is the essence one it's the super super affordable one from essence it's called the peel off lash glue all right so i'm going to set my face and i'm going to do that with my chick cosmetic setting spray and i'm a little cold so <laughs> i'm kind of dreading this but okay so i'm gonna curl this hair and karen give a side part that's got like a bit of an elevated fountain thing that's falling this side so i'll start with the side so basically oh where's my brush so basically guys this hair is like 26 inches you guys saw how long this hair is it's like let me show you how long this hair is on me like bruh but it's beautiful it's so so nice and yeah it was very easy to plug it was nice like i'll have all the details for you guys in the description box if you want to shop it but basically all i'm doing is i'm taking biggish sections i don't want them to be super small because i do want it i want to give this hair some body so I'm taking like a section this big, taking my thingy that I'm going to curl with. Do you see how I'm saying like it's so long? I wonder if it's going to fit. Yeah, no, it's going to be fine. I'm not going to break the curls right now, but I'm going to make them cool in my hand. It's kind of hot. <laughs> Pretty 
pretty. Yes, that's what I want. if I want to put highlights in my inner corner like right I don't know I don't think I do it's fine whatever and then I do want to wear some earrings I've got these from iced by Savannah it is a local brand they're like these they're hoop earrings but they're small and they kind of look like those rings that I always wear I actually don't want to wear the rings today um normally <laughs> With this type of look, I would love to wear those rings. But I think because I'm wearing these earrings, the rings are unnecessary. So they're like really small, really like dainty. They're not dainty, but they are like small and like super feminine. So I'm going to put them on. Yeah, just like that. So this is the bracelet that I'm going to put on. It's super nice, actually. Just a nice tennis bracelet. Guys, like, yo, sabaweli to actually be going somewhere. Ah! so angry but anyway yeah and then the shoes that i'm going to be pairing with this dress are these from wholesale seven the dress is also from wholesale seven even though the nudes are different this is more of a pinky nude this is more of like a peachy nude and i think that's super cute and yeah this is the finished look guys ah! <laughs> so let's be like all right guys so yeah um they just said they're outside. <laughs> now we're going to Marble or something. And like, I'm about to go get wine drunk. I'm going to live my best life. But according to dog, like, there's nothing like that. Like... <laughs> you guys i hope you enjoyed that video if you did let me know in the comment section down below and if you would like to shop this hair then do go into my description box i will have a direct link for you and a link to nadula's online store yeah guys let me know what you guys think would you wear something this bold on a date i mean i know it's not super bold but you know for some people this is actually kind of a lot um but yeah i feel like this is very flirty it's different and yeah i just really like it i like the dress i like the shoes i like everything that's it from me guys i will see you in my next video but yeah if you have not subscribed please make sure to subscribe down below and also follow me on instagram thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video Mwah.